Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Lady Latte by Beltress in the color British Milk Tea. Right now I'm wearing Chacarato also by by Beltress in the color British Milk Tea. I'll have the review for this one up soon, but I wanted to get to Lady Latte today. I'm really excited to have both of these pieces. I was able to find them on the clearance section at Wix Studio One. And that day, the day that I got them, Andrea, the owner of Wix Studio One, surprised us with a an extra 15%, was it, or 20% off. So they're already on clearance. And then on top of that, we had an extra 20% off. If you're not a member of Wix Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group, we'd love to have you join us there. We have over 16,000 members now helping and supporting each other and we show our pieces, ask questions. It's a really a great group. I hope you can come and join us. Anyway, so today, um, Lady Latte, I have been wanting this piece for the longest time because I have Cafe Chic, I have Cold Brew Chic, and I love them, but I didn't have this one. And you know what? I have fallen in love with this one too. The really nice thing with Lady Latte is that we get a full monofilament top, nice lace front, the felt covered ear tabs, and we have the fibers coming from the ear tabs, which gives it that realistic look, a non-extended nape, and a nice stretchy cap. You know I'm a real big Beltress fan because I, I my preference is low density, no permatease. That's my personal preference. I review wigs regardless of whether they have permatease or not. But for my own personal collection, I I prefer the non permatease. And there's nothing wrong with permatease. It's just there's no right or wrong here, ladies. It's just what it's just a matter of preference. Uh, the color British Milk Tea, you know, I thought that I, I thought that brown sugar sweet cream was going to be my favorite color and British Milk Tea is right up there. We have a blend of eight different blondes and brunettes here. We go from a very dark blonde to a very light brown and it, 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 it almost, it appears as if it has a, a violet toner to it. It just gives that impression to me. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what the process is. And we have a medium brown root, but the root just blends right through. It's not a stark root. It just blends throughout the rest of the, the rest of the piece. And we do have, those are light blondes. And I know from previous ones that I have reviewed in British Milk Tea that this color comes across as gray. I don't know why. We'll go outside. I think it still looks gray, but in actuality, when you have it in your hand, I don't, I don't know if it's the lights. I don't, I don't know what it is. When you have it in your hand there, you can see there's no gray in here whatsoever. It's a pale blonde. All right, I'm going to put Lady Latte on and I'll be right back. I just received it a few days ago. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't applied any products. I haven't seamed. I haven't done anything. I am definitely keeping this piece, but as you can see, it's falling in my face. Very simple fix. We could use some hairspray. And what I like to do with the hairspray, I, I just, I like to use the John Renault and I just spray a little bit in my hand. I rub my hands together and then I just move it off to the side. That's, if, if you do this, it's an everyday thing. If you want it a bit more permanent, then use some steam and, and it will definitely stay. All right, let's talk a little bit about the length. This is a really pretty bob. Now, just so you have an idea, my face from hairline to chin is almost eight inches. It's seven and three quarters. Lady Latte has the sides are 10 to 10 and a half inches and the back is nine and a half inches. So we have a little bit of a gradual, not much, just by half an inch to an inch of a gradual. Let me show you just a little bit 
um, shorter in the back and a little bit longer in the front. But for the most part, what we have here is a really pretty bob off the shoulders. And we have a nape of three and a half. The lace front looks beautiful. I love the way Belle Tress is now doing these lighter fibers on the front. This color appears to be a little bit lighter on me. I have a medium tan skin tone, so something else to keep in mind. If you have a very fair skin tone, this color may appear a little darker. If you have my skin tone or darker, it may appear a little lighter. The ear tabs fall on me just as they do on all of my Belle Tress. What I do with, with something like this, I didn't want to shade it in because I wanted you to see the difference between my hairline and where the ear tabs fall, but I'll go ahead and I'll shade this the same color as the, as the root of the wig. I just used the one from Clairol. This is a powder. It, it's not a dye. It will come off every day and you get a little brush with it. This is, I, I believe this one is a medium brown. And what I do, I just apply it. Uh, I dip my brush in there. And then I'll just cover that, that uh, hairline. I'll just cover the grays. You don't have to do this. I mean, you could even bring it up a little bit to the wig if you want to do that. I think it works out really well. And then if the wind blows or something, it's it's pretty much the same. I'm going to do the other side, so I'll be even. <laughs> yeah, Lady Latte is a really pretty style. If you enjoy the bobs, if you want something off the shoulders, these are HD fiber. So if you want something a little bit shorter than my Chakarato, which is quite long, then you might want to consider Lady Latte. It really is a beautiful style. As I mentioned, there's no permatease here. We have light density. It looks very realistic, really, really pretty. And of course, there are lots of other colors to choose from. Before we go outside to look at this color so you can see what it looks like in the daylight, I would like to thank everyone that entered my giveaway for Zara Light by John Renault. I am so sorry. I wanted to have the video up announcing the, the winner on Monday, and I just wasn't able to do that. I notified the winner by email. I'm going to insert a screenshot from when I ran the raffle cop a copter, which I just it just randomly picks a name from everyone that, that entered. So I'll insert that so you can see that I played fair, that I really ran the raffle copter. Again, thank you everyone for entering my giveaways. I'll have another one soon, so don't be disappointed if you didn't win. I'm gonna try to do this like once or twice a month or once every other month or something like that, but I'll have it announced. And that way, if you didn't win, maybe you'll win another one. Maybe I'll have a gift card so you could choose whatever you want. I'll do something like that every month. Let me, you know what I didn't do? I didn't show you the back. Let me show you the back. Back. We could add a clip to it. And that looks really pretty. Definitely, definitely tuckable. And add a headband. Really pretty that way as well. And if you wanna wear it off the face, since the, the hairline is so pretty, you can do that. And just wear it off the face. I think it's a perfect summer style. If you want something a little bit shorter and you don't want to wear the pixie or you don't want any, anything too short, I think this is a great length. This is a perfect one. Just a perfect, perfect length for the summer. Easy. And of course, for those of us that love bobs. Okay, now we're going to go outside and take a look at this color and then I'll come back.
Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Let me know what you think about Lady Latte. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.